So Bobby Green versus Jarlan Turner went down on the co-main event of this card. And I quite literally almost witnessed a fucking murder. I don't know what was wrong with that referee. Like, I generally think he was trying to fucking kill him. Like, I don't think he wanted Bobby Green to be alive. Like, he must have been paid off by Armand Tezukin's team or something. Because, like, Jesus Christ. Not a good look at all, man. Like, this was horrible. This was generally... Like... I don't know what the fuck that ref was doing. Like, I don't know. Did Bobby Green fuck this guy's wife or something? Let, let me just break down the sequence for you. Bobby Green is wobbled. Fucking doing the chicken dance. Gets knocked down again. How many shots is this? Oh, fucking let me count this shit. Does the chicken dance. Wobbled. One, two. Another shot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Back of the head. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. 18, 19, 20, he's out limp, 21, he got knocked out, he got knocked out, woke back up, got knocked out again, woke back up, then he was just getting his head pounded in as he was limp, I don't know if his chin's ever going to be the same again like that, I generally, I was screaming at my fucking laptop, I thought Bobby Green was going to fucking die, and I'm not even kidding, I was fucking scared for Bobby Green there man, that was not... That was a horrible fucking stoppage. That is one of the worst stoppages I've ever seen. That referee, he needs to go back to the fucking regional scene. He should not be professional a professional referee for major fights like that. He almost got fucking Bobby Green killed out there. Like, what the fuck was he waiting for? What did he want to see that... Like, did he want Bobby Green to fucking die and go into Ring of Mortis? Like, what the fuck? Sorry, sorry to get, sorry to be so potty mouth. But generally, I was watching this like, what is this guy doing? Like Bobby Green is wobbling all over the place, and he fucking gets hit again. So he got wobbled with a uh, with a strike, like an overhand over his ear. Got the equilibrium. He's wobbling. Gets one tooed, dropped, uh, and then yeah, just gets pounded on. Like so many shots, just shot after shot. That referee, I don't know what Bobby Green did to him, uh, but he he wanted to fucking die, man. Uh, horrible, horrible from that referee. That is like that. Yeah, that was not good at all, man. That was a horrible look from that referee. I don't know what he was waiting for there, but poor Bobby Green. Uh, I don't know if Bobby Green will be the same after that. Like, that is a bad amount of damage to take in that fight. But still, sorry, uh, bad stoppage and everything out of the way. What a performance from Jarlan Turner. Uh, I did horrible for picks this card. Uh, I picked Bobby Green here. Really bad prediction here. I As soon as the fight started, I was like, oh, fuck, yeah, he is fucked. Because Jarlan Turner is so much longer. Bobby Green just couldn't get to him. Every time he did... You know, Bobby Green would get caught with, like, a big shot from Jarlan Turner. Really stupid prediction for me in hindsight. Like, I get it. That that was generally... That was really bad for me. Uh, I don't know why. I really don't know why I picked Bobby Green here. Maybe I was just... Uh, I was just basing it on a big such short notice with Jarlan Turner. I thought he'd get KO'd with a jab. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, really good performance from Jarlan Turner. Really used his length to his advantage here. Bobby Green just couldn't do anything to him because he's so long. Like, what what could Bobby Green have done there? Uh, every time he'd run up, he'd land a big shot, but, like, it really wouldn't phase Jarlan Turner. It's not like he could get combos going. He'd keep mocking him, you know, doing the old shoulder roll and laughing and, you know, doing Bobby Green activities where, he, you know... You know what Bobby Green's like when he fights. He's mocking his opponents. But it looked like a lot of these shots were actually hitting Bobby Green, which was the weird part about it all. Like, I don't get it. Why is Bobby Green being all this confident when it looks like these shots are clearly hitting you? Like, maybe just focus on not getting hit, Bobby Green, instead of, like, mocking him. I think he was laughing at him before he got fucking starched as well. It's like... That's one thing that... Bo I know Bobby Green likes to have fun out there, but, like, he really has to stop doing that because it gets him caught. It got him caught against fucking Dustin Poirier. 
Uh, I got him caught against Drew Dober. It's like one of the things, I don't know why he does it every fight, but he always did, does that shit where he'll mock his opponents. And then he just gets knocked out or knocked down or hurt or he gets taken down or something. It's just, I don't know, Bobby Green needs to stop doing that. But still, I'm happy for Jarlin Turner, you know, for him to get a win at this point. But, yeah, that stoppage is like, that is stoppage is stuck in my fucking head. That is one of the worst fucking stoppages I've ever seen. That was a genuine fucking assault. Like, that wasn't a, that wasn't a mixed martial arts stoppage. That was assault. It's like, Jarlin Turner owed Bobby Green money. And he told him, like, nah-uh. Jalen Turner was just like, fuck it, you what, cunt? Like, he was not going to stop. He was not stopping. He was unloading all them shots. Like, I don't know. Jalen Turner, like, Jesus Christ, though, he has a killer mentality. You know, some fighters would have just stopped. But no, he wasn't going to take any chances. Like, Jesus Christ, he was really making sure, like, he was really making sure he got that stoppage. He really wanted that win. You could tell he was hungry for that victory. But Jesus Christ... <laughs> Yeah, that was a hell of a that was a hell of a stoppage. That ref needs to be charged with attempted murder of Bobby Green's life cuz that was an attempted murder. Like there's no other way to put it. I don't know what that referee, I don't know if he was paid off by the Tazuki in camp or something, but that was like I don't know, man. That was fucking horrible to see. That was fucking devastating. Uh Yeah, I don't know what the fuck Bobby Green does now. Uh take some time off, like, yeah, Jesus Christ, that's something, Bobby Green should take, like, a minimum of fucking six months off after that, that is, like, that is a really bad beating, he should not rush back in there, like, that is, like, being KO'd, like, two or three times in that fight, plus some interest, like, Bobby Green, if you see this video, I doubt it, I doubt Bobby Green's gonna see this video, but somebody send this to Bobby Green and tell him, just tell him, please do not come back. Take some fucking time off for your health and for your career. Like, Jesus Christ, man. Like, that is some brutal damage to take. Especially because Jarlin Turner isn't, like, a weak guy either. He's not a pillow-fisted guy. He's a hard hitter. He's, he's a fucking very powerful guy. And for Bobby Green to be getting fucking annihilated like that by Jarlin Turner, winding up them punches too. Like, he was winding up a lot of those punches right to the temple and equilibrium of Bobby Green, like, that is some fucking devastating shit, I'm glad Bobby Green got up and was all good, but, like, god damn, uh, that was horrible to watch, though, but still, really good performance from Jarlin Turner here, used the length, you know, he did what he had to do, I like that, I like the length, using the length, you know, what, I mean, at least he uses his length, you see a lot of these taller guys just go right in the pocket and swing, it's like, but he really does use his, his length to his advantage, uh, Bobby Green just couldn't do anything to him, I'm sure, I don't know, I'm sure if, maybe if, I'm sure if he had maybe a full camp, Bobby Green would have been able to prepare for a much longer opponent like that, like, but even then, he was preparing for Dan Hooker, Dan Hooker's a pretty long guy as well, damn shame we're not going to get to see Bobby Green versus Dan Hooker now, though, that makes me sad, I was really looking forward to that fight, but, Jala Turner catches him right on the fucking chin, and then gives him a fucking receipt and a half, but, uh, yeah, I don't know who you do Jalen Turner next. You know, I've seen him calling for a Dan Hooker rematch, but, like, that is way too soon to do a rematch, in my opinion. Uh, maybe you could do Jalen Turner versus... I don't know, maybe Benil Dariush. Oh, my God, no. I don't want to see Benil Dariush just get brutally KO'd after brutally KO'd. Maybe you could do Jalen Turner versus Benoit Saint-Denis. That'd be a cool fight. Or maybe Jarlin Turner versus Fiziev coming back. Oh, but Fiziev's apparently got offered Dustin Poirier, but Poirier probably won't even take Fiziev, so who knows. I don't know. Maybe you could rebook that Panato Moicano versus Jarlin Turner fight. Like, at the end of the day, Bobby Green was, like, 13th. But, yeah, Jesus Christ. That was fucking brutal. Uh... Yeah, man, that was fucking brutal, like, I can't get over that, but, uh, we'll see what happens, but, yeah, I can't get over that finish, man, I'm still in shock over it, when I seen that, like, I, like I mentioned before, I was screaming at my fucking, my laptop, losing my shit over that, that was fucked, uh, hopefully that referee generally gets fined or something, because, 
or pays fucking Bobby Green some compensation because like I think we just witnessed someone get CT in person like Bobby Green didn't you know he's got pretty good defense he doesn't get hit that much I know he's been KO'd twice but like Jesus Christ that was brutal like I think we generally just witnessed Bobby Green getting CT in person because of that referee so yeah shit stoppage one of the worst late stoppages you'll ever see hopefully Bobby Green will still be the same fighter because I love watching Bobby Green fight but still great performance from Jarlin Turner that's all I've got to say let me know your thoughts on the stoppage in the comment section below uh and yeah make sure you like this video i see a lot of you watch this but you don't like it uh you know i'd appreciate it It just helps me out it makes me feel good inside you know uh, and if you're not already subscribed put on the notifications share this video send it to bobby green ask him please take some fucking time off benny p said too and i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching